Hi guys, welcome to Music Sucks, our new music YouTube channel where we review albums from all different genres, from all different decades, all different artists, and talk about all the different variety of music related topics. My name is Azrael, and while I like all variety of music, if I had to pick a few examples, um, I would say genres that I really love include progressive rock and progressive metal, psychedelic rock, art rock, new wave, synth pop, um, things of that nature. Uh, I also tend to like a lot of slower music, more beautiful, pretty music. Um, and artists that I like include things like Pink Floyd, things like King Crimson, Yes, The Beatles, Beach House, Tame Impala, The Doors, Kendrick Lamar, and things like that. My name's Aaron. I like uh, Black Lips, Parquet Courts, The Intelligence, kind of like raw, like stuff that's abrasive to your ears. <laughs> Um, I like the raw feeling of that. Um, I'm really excited to do this channel, so let's uh, get on with it. So something you're going to notice between us is our very interesting dynamic, as you can kind of tell based on the different types of artists and sounds that we like. Um, the way that I kind of see it is almost like the stereotypical idea you have of an like art critic versus an artist. The art critic stereotypically you'd think is like kind of snooty and posh and all eloquent and explaining things in a very overly detailed way, kind of like the type of hipster dude who goes to an art museum. Whereas the artist is the type of guy who's slightly deranged, disheveled, and would be the type of dude to cut off his earlobe and send it to a prostitute. Which I'd say is pretty much our dynamic, except to a much less exaggerated degree, at least for now. Something else you're gonna notice is us referring to songs by numerical value. So let's explain what that means. As you can see here, each of these numbers correlates to how much you like a song. Starting with zero. Zero is a song that ranges from anything from, and this song kind of sucks, but I wouldn't go as far as to say I dislike it, to this song's all right, but I wouldn't go as far as to say I like it enough to want to listen to it. Or of course, anything in between those would be a okay or a zero song. A plus one simply means that you like the song and like listening to it. Beyond that is a plus two, which is a lovable song. This means that if I asked you what your thoughts were on the song, you'd have no issue saying, yeah, I love this song. A plus three means it's one of your favorite songs. While yes, it's obviously lovable as well, it's more than just that. Think of it as your top of the top songs, like maybe a top 100 songs, for example. Right now I have exactly 100 songs in the favorites list, but even once it surpasses 100, it'll still only constitute the top 4% of all the songs I've ever scored. In the opposite direction, it's pretty much the same deal. Negative one means it's dislikable. Negative two is something you'd go as far as to say you hate, and then a negative three is something that's so bad that it's genuinely grating and difficult to finish, hence the title, unbearable. So while a hateable song might have lyrics that you find cringy or annoying, and you don't like having it on, and you hate that it's on, Unbearable songs are songs that you physically cannot stand playing. You genuinely have a visceral reaction and want that sound to turn off. So both favorites and unbearables are very strong emotions that none of the other categories come close to having. Now the original album ranking score is just to score each song and divide the number up by the number of songs on the album. Or for Pink Floyd, for example, you have various ones, you have a bunch of threes and some zeros. That adds up to 238 out of 300. But I knew there was something missing, so I let Aaron take the wheel to help craft a formula to actually weigh songs by the percentage they take up on the album. So, Aaron, take it away. Alright guys, I like to use Excel to calculate everything, and I will link the Excel template for anybody interested in using it. So let's turn our attention to the Excel file I have here for Dark Side of the Moon. Now, each row in the file represents a single song. There are three columns where the user has to actually input a value or characters. Column A, C, and F. Column A is the song's length. So once you input each song's length, the final cell in the column will calculate the length of the album. The length is then used in B to find what percentage of the album the song makes up. Each cell in column B is simply the adjacent cell in column A divided by the total length of the album. Column C is where we put our score for the songs that we're listening to based on uh, what Azrael said, negative 3 to 3. Column D then takes the score in column C and multiplies it by the percent value in column B. 
This generates a number that makes up the song's true score based on how long the song is. The value in this column in these columns are then summed and the output is some number between negative 3 and 3 as you see in this cell here. To allow more nuance in the scoring that number is then multiplied by 100 and rounded to the nearest whole number to give the album's final score. In column E we have the theoretical perfect score for a song based on its length in order for the album to receive the theoretical perfect score of 300 where all songs have been ranked as a plus 3. This column kind of just ensures the program is operating as, as expected. Um, the final column is simply just the names of the songs. The bottom row has to do with our color score, which you're going to see implemented into our thumbnails with a gradient bar from his score into my score. While normally, if you see red as a symbol for how much you like something, typically implies you actually didn't like that thing at all, whereas green means that you did. Well, our color system is nothing like that at all. Rather, we went with something a little more universal, cold to warm. The colder the color, the colder our feelings are on the album. So purples and blues are a sign that we disliked the album. Greens are actually just kind of middle of the road, but yellows and oranges are a good sign as our feelings on the album are warming up, all the way up to red, where red symbolizes that we think the album is hot. It takes some adjusting to think about the colors in this way, but in the end, it makes more sense than the random decision to have green be good and red be bad for no reason. For the formula behind our color score, I just generated a linear equation that you guys can use if you guys are interested that converts our final album score to a value corresponding to a wavelength of visible light since visible light ranges from wavelengths about 380 nanometers to approximately 650 nanometers. An album score of 120 shown here is converted to a wavelength of 590 shown here. The value is then inputted into this link where we enter the wavelength value for the album and this program spits out the color that we then use in the thumbnails. And with all that boring stuff out of the way, hopefully you guys understand the channel and how it works. Aaron actually came up with the idea because we would always have interesting conversations about music all the time and a lot of the time they got heated, which a lot of other people around enjoyed listening to. So he came up with the idea, okay, why don't we record this and put it on for an even larger audience. Not only did we want to start this channel for entertainment though, but also to help viewers and people like you help engage with music in a new way. Not only that, but we'd also like to use this platform to help start shedding light on some criminally underrated artists. Especially with Aaron having such underground music taste, some of his favorite artists have less than a thousand monthly listeners on streaming platforms. And with that said, we hope you guys enjoy the channel and get a kick out of watching us slowly lose respect for each other's music taste with every waking moment we spend together. So, peace out guys. Say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>